Hi everyone, this is Piggy Pig Palace coming to you uh, for the first time. This is our introduction video and um, I want to explain the purpose of my account and also to introduce myself and my wonderful piggies to the YouTube world. Um, the main purpose of my website was to bring awareness to um, different organizations that are out there that actually rescue um, guinea pigs that are abandoned um, or in high kill shelters and um, actually home them uh, as in foster homes and help to find them uh, forever homes. Now when I was first getting my guinea pigs I did a lot of research on how to care for guinea pigs but I did not realize that rescues like that existed and so what I did was I bought um, his name is Bogey and the other guy who is in his little hay there he is his head's poking out his name's Pickle and I purchased them at a breeder um, in September of 2011 uh, because you know, I did not know that there were rescues out there that um, um, that would allow me to adopt guinea pigs instead of buying them from breeders or pet stores. So that's um, my main goal and I do want to let you know that Piggy Pig Palace is a partner of Orange County KV Haven which is a rescue located in Southern California and what we do is um, well what I do is I make guinea pig beds um, it could be tunnels, huts, cozies, cabins um, ooh. <laughs> there it goes um, and uh, every um, profit that I make 100% of it will go to support the rescue hello there hello honey um, <laughs> I think they're looking for veggies right now. And um, the second goal is to help people um, make guinea pig beds, cozies, and huts. Or alternatively, they could buy them from my Etsy account. And of course, 100% of proceeds, or, or I'm sorry, of profits will go to support um, the organization. Uh, so there's Bogey and Pickle. They are in a um, three by four. Um, I know that their chloroplast isn't entirely surrounded by the cubes. I have the grids. Um, I have enough grids, but they do fine without the grids. They have never jumped out in all the months that I've had them. And they're actually very happy in their little cage. Um, oh dear. They, they do have little tussles here and there, but um, at the end of the day, they, they do love each other. Uh, so those are my two boars, and I would like to introduce you to my two sows, um, which they are down here. So, uh, inside the, their cage is Coco and her baby, um, uh, Chanel. Now, I do not promote breeding, and uh, the only reason why I do have a baby is because Coco came into the rescue pregnant. She was abandoned pregnant, she had a bad case of scurvy, and she was abandoned with um, several other girls and boys. The girl, other girls and boys were taken by other fosters. I took in Coco when she was pregnant, as well as Lola. Um, Lola was adopted, and um, Coco has been paired with her daughter, Chanel. Um, we were very happy that she only had one baby, and that the pregnancy and the delivery went without any complications. So that was a, that was um, definitely wonderful for us. So if you are in the Southern California region, and you are looking to adopt guinea pigs. These are two wonderful sows um, that are up for adoption. 
um, Coco loves lap time. She's a purr and she loves to be handled. And she's a gorgeous little girl. Uh, so those are my guinea pigs. Now, I don't have any of their huts or any of their cozies to show you, um, but I will be posting them in my next videos. Um, the reason why I don't have them is because I just came from vacation, and um, all of their all of their toys and huts and cozies are in the wash. So, in my next video, I will be showing you what I make and um, what I sell and how you can make the same things yourself.